What's up, Loop Troop? Loopy Fizz here, and today we're going to be going over the OTA that should be dropping right about now ish. Um, I get the privilege of having all the information before it drops, which is pretty cool, but I got to stay on a hush hush, of course. Uh, but guys, uh, this update is going to be pretty cool. We got some changes to some cards that I wasn't expecting. Um, and some cards that I was actually talking about in my chat the other day. And the one that I want to talk about is actually that one first. This first card is going to be getting updated. It's actually Hawkeye. This card is, it kind of hits close to home because a lot of people love Hawkeye, the character, but they don't really play with the card that much. Um, he's kind of a card that is easily read. And also, he's kind of hard to... Um, add into a deck because of things like Killmonger and just it's only it's a low amount of power that you're going to be getting because at the end of the day the card's going to be a one three but it's forcing you to have to play a card in that location next turn otherwise you are going to get penalized so what they've done here is they've actually increased the amount of power that you're going to get on the next turn instead of getting a plus two now you're going to get plus three which is a nice little buff to him i don't know if it's going to be enough to make people play this card a ton more of course they can always spitball and see if there's any reason why to, to add you know more power to it or maybe just rework the card completely i don't know but these little ota um updates they're really nice because it lets you gauge how people are going to how how people are going to use the card after it gets changed right um i i can assure you i can ensure you that after last month's hit to uh hit monkey he's not used as much anymore and they might take it into account next time and think about doing OTA. But there's tons of cards and there's tons of things to change. But I think that this could be a cool change. Um, and one thing that you can't think about is that this could be used in Bounce now, maybe. Um, or maybe it can just get pushed up to being used in Cerebro 4. I don't really know how things are going to change. I'm, you know, I'm not a philosophy major. I don't know how things are going to change or happen here. Uh, we'll have to find out and see. Pick them up. Add them to some decks. See if you can make it work out even better. But next, we're going to move on to the next change. And the next change is actually going to be Hawkbuster. And this is actually another change that all they really did was add a little bit more power to the card. But if you guys know from previous OTA updates, that can be a huge benefit to cards. Um, so in this case, Hawkbuster is going to go from a 3-4 to a 3-5, which isn't going to do a whole lot for the card itself. But as you know, Hawkbuster is a supporting card in his own. And this is going to be kind of crazy because we just had a buff to the card they use. I think the, one of the cards they use Hulkbuster a lot, which was Human Torch. Um, also, we had a buff to the um, Nimrod recently. So this could be a huge change. Um, adding those, those points of power that are gonna be getting doubled or more Nimrods getting just more power, plus you're still gonna be able to have Nova out there, all sorts of stuff you can think about, right? So. I don't really know how this card is gonna go or where it's gonna go from here, but having this is, you gotta think about it. Think about this real quick. How how much power does Human Torch has? Well, Human Torch has two power. Well, this card didn't go up in, in its um, cost, so it still costs the same to play it. Well, now you're gonna be able to get a what? It's gonna be seven power on Human Torch on the if you try to do an iron fist and a human torch with the hulk buster well that's gonna be 14. that's a 14 powered human torch off of the first rip you play in so that's gonna be kind of crazy and i think what happened is when they up when they when they decrease the cost of the phoenix force hulk buster took a hit and nobody was playing him as much anymore right so hopefully now we can see this card come back into those phoenix force decks with movement and we can just get a lot more play with it and see where things are going to go add this card to your decks guys i want to see some crazy decks um let's just let's just see and experiment and see what kind of inhuman creations we can do i i just want to see it let's do it all right now on to the next change which is gonna be vision and this was a really cool change as well. Um, <laughs> it's kind of funny because I remember when uh, someone, I think I forgot who it was that was interviewing. Oh, it was actually Binks. Binks was interviewing Ben Brode and they were talking about cards and they were talking about Legion right before Legion came out. 
and he was like well you know he's a 5 8 he's a 5 8 and i mean i can't i can't disagree with him five eights are actually cool and i actually really like vision um they talk about how vision was kind of only seen in like lockjaw decks and that was really about it i actually really enjoyed playing vision and decks that people don't expect because you can drop shuri down and then you can play vision and then you can move vision and this i guess this was kind of before phoenix force was a thing because phoenix force has the same ability as vision and it, and phoenix force gets way more power so why would you ever want to play vision um i guess the least you don't have a lot of setup right you don't have to kill something and then bring it back and hope you kill the right right, right the right thing if you only killed if you killed more than one so there's a lot of setup steps for phoenix force and it might not seem like a lot but it is a lot when you go into three and four steps to get a card out um with, with vision you just play him now the thing about it i thought i thought that it would be a better buff if you could have you know maybe lower his power a little bit and just make him a um a lower cost card um because him moving around is still gonna he still have to worry about anything like shang chi or anything but you have to get this card to a high level i feel like because him moving is not the best i mean if you want a card that can move you can probably just play captain marvel which we'll be talking about in a second but this card went to five eight and now it's really cool that's all that changed on it i'm gonna i want to see how it's gonna get any more play or see what's gonna happen so guys start adding some vision into your deck if you um you want to see how he's gonna be going now i love these changes because it changes the cards that we already have it's, it's not something coming out that we hope to get like in a spotlight cash or something like that so this is a really cool change um but like i was saying captain marvel is actually the next change that is on my list and <laughs> It's kind of it's kind of weird. So this card right here, um, always it says you know at the end of the game move to location if it wins the game for you possible. But the thing about it is that people just weren't really playing it that much. Um, so what they've done here is they've changed it from a five six to a four five. So hopefully you can get more, you know, Captain Captain Marvel out. Um, because play turn five is a very is it, that's a swing heavy. Um, that's a swing heavy turn so to actually get this card out on like turn four but also giving it synergy with zabu and stuff like that so you can get that card out because in all honesty i never i never thought that captain marvel was some fantastic card that you can just have in a deck and play it on five and it just changes the entire game no it's not like jeff because you can't just play it anywhere you want to it's not like vision where you can move it anywhere you want to after you've played it so you really have to hope that that the rng can take over and that you can win and it gives your opponent something really easy to look and say hey i can play around this card now they're gonna think about playing around this card after turn four instead of after turn five which puts a lot of mental stack on them so hopefully this can be an upgrade to this card and i'm excited i don't really play a whole lot of captain marvel but i think i might be able to drop her into a zabu deck now and see what i can do um i just do wish that she could also take into account if there were other captain marvels on the board but that has not been changed yet and it probably never will anyways on to the next change we got is actually going to be a card that i guess that they thought it was kind of weak but i love this card um and that is absorbing man i think absorbing man is a fantastic card um i love using him in destroy decks because you get another destroy card right um, especially when you do things like the, the video that I posted not too long ago with the, um, the, well, I, I called it the, uh, death power recycle, but somebody told me a better name and it was called death loop. I love that. So that's the name it's going to be. If you want to check that deck out, I'll put it in the, um, I'll put it into the, um, into a little card up here somewhere. So you guys can go check that out, but it doesn't have, um, absorbing man in it, but you can add him to it. And he adds a tremendous amount of flavor to a deck like that. Um, and I know a lot of destroy decks are on, 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 on reveal cards. So he just works out in those decks really well, especially with Taskmaster. You can Taskmaster and then get another Taskmaster. You can do a lot of things with this card. Um, but besides that, they changed him from being a 4-3 to a 4-5. So it has a little bit more power. Now, the thing about that is, to me, I think that's kind of above to like the Venom aspect of things because you can, you can make a lane, then you can Venom, and then you can eat the venom with absorbing man who's gonna absorb the venom it's it's a crazy like a little that's the thing in the death loop kind of how it goes into play 
Um, and then if you want to, you can try to go even further and go into a, um, a Phoenix Force. You can do a lot of different things with this car. And that's just me thinking about the depth aspect of it. Um, but it's cool to know that they've increased the power because cars that don't manipulate power after you play them with on reveal, this is going to be really cool for that. Um, so things like Ironheart, you know, or maybe you want to, uh, I don't know why you'd want to, but you can maybe Shuri and then Absorbing Man and then play another card. And now you've gotten this boom, 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 this step up Shuri that you got there. And that's pretty cool. Um, doing things like that, you know, um, but I don't, I, I guess people just hadn't been playing with him a lot. So I'm happy to see him change, um, and see how it's going to be. Of course things are still gonna have to be in play for it to work. So always keep that in mind. There was no change with that, but that was the last change we had for the OTA. I know not a super long video, but I'm excited to see how these cards are gonna be going. I'm definitely gonna be trying out Absorbing Man with the four five, just adding a little bit more power and throwing them into a D-Shore deck is gonna be really fun. Um, also probably gonna be trying out Hawkeye just because he's a card that I haven't used a whole lot of simply because he just didn't seem very strong when there's things like killmonger running around you just don't want to drop a hawkeye like that you know so you know what guys tell me what's your favorite car they got updated in his ota and maybe i'll feature your comment over in the next video who knows maybe in the next ota i don't know you guys have been commenting like crazy by the way and we're almost to a thousand subscribers on youtube so thank you guys a whole lot but that being said, if you guys enjoy the video, be sure to click my face right here. I got the new logo. It looks really nice. Thank you. Um, but also, we got some videos right here. So if you want to check those out, hey, I'm pretty sure YouTube's going to recommend a really nice one for you. Peace out. Catch you next time.